back in Blender, and now we want to talk about adding objects, making a perfect sphere, doing simple things within the object mode. So let's say we all we always have our cube, but let's say we don't want a cube anymore. How do we add an object to edit? So there's two options. The very first is to go up here in the top left. You can do add. Now here you can add a ton of things, text, cameras, lights, force fields. Some of these things, a lot of them here on the bottom are for animation, which I don't know anything about. I do 3D modeling to 3D print things, so I use meshes. And so you can go here and look, they've got cubes, they've got spheres, UV spheres, they've got cones. So let's add a sphere right off the bat. Note that when you add a structure, it gets added right at the middle of this coordinate system. Well, now my sphere is within the cube. I can't see it. So obviously that's not going to work. So let's move our cube. So the options are here in the top right. We can select our cube right here. You could always actually just click this as well. Now to move a object, you have another two options. So the first is go to object right up here, transform, move. What that does is now immediately takes your mouse and gives you control to move the object. When you want, you can just hit left click and that will stop or move the object where your mouse, mouse last was. Another option, if you hit G for the keyboard, then that does the same exact thing for whatever object you have chosen. And then again, left click to stop it. So now we can see my sphere. And if you're like me, first time you added this, you're like, what the heck is this? Look at the polygon count. It's garbage. It doesn't even look like a sphere. So I don't know why they don't give us a perfect sphere. I think this has its uses in it being so many faces. But let's make this a perfect sphere. So select your object. Go over here to modifiers. So now we're going to do the subdivision surface. You'll see now we just have more faces. It's more like a sphere because there's more spaces, higher polygon count. But if we go to this levels viewport and we increase, you're going to see more and more faces are created. The sphere looks better and better. In my opinion, this is now good for use. If I want to create an eyeball for a 3D model or I want to start editing this, I can. If you really want to go hard to the basket, you can go to cast. Again, go to add mount modifier, go to cast, put your factor as one, and now you truly do have a perfect sphere. So that, again, is kind of nice to, we can edit this, we can add to it. Let's go ahead and add another object. So I mentioned going to add mesh was one option. If you hit checks, you can add curves, surfaces, metaball is like this mathematical expression that Blender creates that doesn't have the physical properties of a mesh. Uh, we'll maybe get into that much later. Again, text, volumes, a lot you can do and add right here. Final thing before we end this session, right now, I haven't really mentioned it much, but we are in object mode. Up here in the top left, we see object mode. But look, we've got edit mode, we've got sculpt mode. So ultimately, what all these do, object mode lets you add objects, rotate objects, move objects, use modifiers that essentially just add an operation onto an object, but it doesn't really edit that object. So edit mode will allow us to cut objects, combine objects, simply edit objects and then sculpt mode allows us to start sculpting some of these objects for example if on the sphere i wanted to create kind of like a mount vestuvius like a mountain on one portion of the sphere surface that's where i can do that so we'll get into those workspaces uh, possibly next i would like to start inching toward creating our first model that we can actually 3d print and hopefully we can do that uh possibly in the next video but 
again, these are bite-sized. I want them to be easy to follow and learn. Thank you for watching. Comment with any questions.